Hello folks, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to clean up workspace in Jenkins after every build. In fact, this video was, uh, you know, requested by one of my viewers. So I want to actually contribute this video to him. Okay, so let's get started. I have uh, all the steps documented in my website coachdevops.com. So feel free to, uh, you know, go through it. I have given, uh, you know, steps for how to do a cleanup for freestyle job. Also, how to do a cleanup for pipeline job as well. Okay, awesome. So, if you look at my setup, I already have Jenkins up and running. I also have a couple of uh, build jobs here. One is the freestyle job, which is this one, and then I also have a pipeline job. Okay, and uh, if you look at my workspace folder, um, so this is the Ubuntu, uh, you know, J Jenkins is installed on Ubuntu 18.04. So, this is the workspace folder. Uh, of Jenkins and as you can see I have two jobs so you know you can see you know uh, the workspace folder right so this is the one and this is the one so don't worry about temp usually you won't see anything inside the temp folder so we want to clean up these two uh, you know folders right every time you know a job is uh, you know run okay awesome so I'm going to show you how to uh, do that okay first we must install the plugin okay so go to manage plugins. I have already installed. So if you actually search for workspace cleanup plugin, so this is the plugin, right? So you need to install this plugin in order to clean up the workspace. Once you install this plugin, and then you know uh, you can go to your job and then we can do our stuff, right? So let's go to this particular uh, job. So this is the free cell job. Uh, go to configure and then click on post bill actions. Okay, so basically what I wanted to do uh, every time I run this job, whether it is success or whether it is failure, I want to clean up the workspace folder, right? So how to do that? So click on add, add uh, post bill action and then, you know, you have to click this option. See, here, see here, delete workspace when build is done. So click on that one. And if you want to configure further, you can click on advanced and then, you know, you can also choose like this, right? Uh, you know clean when the status is success or whatever so I would uh, want to do all this thing right so because I want to clean up no matter whether the build is success or failure right so you can leave like this and that's it right say apply and save now if I run this uh, build job okay uh, so as you can see in my Jenkins uh, right so this folder is there right so now we have enabled uh, that option so if I run the build now you know after the build is done you're not going to see this folder right so let's see that so right now build is running okay so there is some failure I don't know what is the failure let me see uh, let's see here oh fail to deploy okay so it says that my tomcat username password is incorrect uh, it doesn't matter okay but let's actually go here and see See here, you don't see that uh, your job folder, right? You know, it has been deleted due to, um, you know, we have configured, right? So now let's go and fix the bill just quickly. Okay. Let me add the username and password. I'm going to say fix Tomcat. Add. and then I'm going to choose from the drop down which is this one okay so apply save let me rerun so as you can see you know while the job is running it has created the folder um, so it is doing the bill once the build is done okay so it is in the process of deploying okay now it is done if I go back and see Wow, you see here, you don't see this folder anymore, right? So it means that our workspace got cleaned up, okay? So this is for a freestyle job, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do this for pipeline job. So let's go to this pipeline, okay? If we go to configure, okay? So this is a very simple pipeline job, okay? Uh, this is a declarative pipeline, okay? I have created uh, all this thing here. 
okay and of course you can also see that uh, pipeline job here as well right so what we wanted to do we want to clean up this folder okay after uh, the build is done right so how to do that so basically i think the good practice is you know no matter what right like build is success or build is failure you want to always uh, do that right so what you can do uh, you can actually put it under uh, post block right so you can copy this or of course you can also write that so when you do that uh, you know no matter what happened to the build right this part is always going to execute and then this is how you are going to uh, use that uh, you know uh, clean up script method right so you can do that so what this would do this would uh, clean up uh, this entire folder after the build is done whether it is success or failure okay so let's go ahead and apply and save and then run build now okay so obviously the folder is there so as soon as this is done awesome so you see build success right let's go back and check here wow you see here this pi particular pipeline you know job folder uh, from the workspace got deleted okay awesome guys you know that's how you clean up your workspace after every uh, build in Jenkins. I hope this video was helpful. Looking forward to see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys.